can you prove that cos squared minus sine squared of an angle is equal to two cos squareds minus a full one? Well, the first thing I do to solve a trig identity is to break it up into the left and right hand sides. So just let me do that right off the bat. Now, one option you have is to replace one with the Pythagorean identity. Do you know what that is? You should if you're doing trig identities. Instead of the one, I'm going to replace that with sine squared of the angle plus cos squared of the angle. The fact that that always equals one for every angle is called the Pythagorean identity. Now I'm minusing everything that's in the bracket here. So let's rewrite the two cos squared theta. I'm minusing a sine theta, no, a sine squared theta, and I'm minusing a cos squared theta as well. These are like terms that I can collect. I have two cos squared thetas, and I'm subtracting one cos squared theta. Two of something, take away one, leaves you with a single one. That is cos squared theta. I still have my minus sine squared theta. Lo and behold, my left and right hand sides match each other. If my left and right hand sides match each other, then that means the identity is true. And the cos squared of an angle minus the sine squared of an angle equals two times the cos squared of an angle minus a full one. Pretty snappy. I want you getting just as fast as I just did that. Best of luck.